Let me tell you a few things about who you're here to hear. A couple of ascertainable facts that have been verified, certified, and sealed with approval by no lesser authority than the Fraternal Organization of Guarantees, Warranties, Rubber Stamps, and Green Lights, of which the Guinness Book of World Records and the Office of Weights and Measures both are subsidiaries. He speaks six languages fluently and can get into fights in 30 more. He's been the best man at the weddings of 10 senators and a dozen grand viziers, only six of which ended in divorce and one of them in arbitration. He's swaggered through more saloon doors than John Wayne, tuned Woody Guthrie's guitar and taught him to croon, was an underwriter in the selling of Robert Johnson's soul, which he won back playing poker with the devil's mother-in-law. He got the good Lord drunk and made him write a new book for the Bible, the book of ambulations, perambulations, and scooting round town, the alpha and omega of which is just yep. He's camped with hobos, learned their signs, made up a couple of them himself, which were subsequently adopted into the lexicon of vagrants, ragamuffins, and the generally destitute. He slept in the mayor's guest room and the dumpster behind the pool hall, seen sunrises over Bogota and sunsets from the Rockies, had a buffalo for a pal and taught love songs to chickadees. Yes siree, he's the real McCoy, the big man on campus, the unchronicled legend who's done more to boost the reputation of the city of St. Paul than Paul Bunyan, Paul Revere, and Paul of Tarsus rolled into one. He's the one, the only, the exceptional, the here today, gone tomorrow, the not to be missed, the chap in the hat, Townhouse Woods.